All right. <clears throat> it is uh, a little bit of a storm going on here today. It's very windy and rainy. And I'm um, going to go and see if we can find some shells. We'll see. Let's go. So we're going out today. This is a uh, this is a nor'easter, and typically these types of uh, these types of storms bring high wind, a lot of rain, and so those are prime conditions for shells. So uh, to be washed up on the beach. Sorry, it's getting wet. Um, ah, all right. So I'm gonna get down to the beach. We'll see. Maybe stuff will wash up tomorrow too. But. Uh, so just to give you an idea, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because of the wind, but it is pretty rough. The tide's coming in, but we're going to look on the beach to see. If, we're going to look on the beach to see if we find anything. All right, let's go. All right, so the moon snail. I will keep that one. Nice. Oh my God, it's so windy. All right, I believe. A Greenland cockle. It's only a piece, so I'm definitely not gonna keep it. But that's cool. So this is kind of cool. It's an oyster. Uh, nice looking one too. Uh, that was just buried in the sand here. Just barely saw the top. I actually thought it was a deep sea scallop, but um, definitely gonna keep that. Okay, what a difference one day can make. The ocean is still rough, uh, and the tide was super high last night. Um, it's also possible that um, it could take a couple days for things to wash up sometimes. Um, none it takes a couple days for things to wash up after a storm, but we'll check. And already found something cool. If we look, there's a beautiful piece of an Iceland scallop here. So this must have been washed in once the waves uh, got a little less rough. That is a nifty find. Okay. Nice little oyster. We can definitely hold on to that. All right. another piece of an Iceland scallop, but look at the color on that, man. That thing is gorgeous. Wow. Maybe we can find a whole one. Okay, I finally found the whole one. I mean, it's not whole whole, but it's decent. Pretty, that's a beautiful shell, man. Look at that. day three after the storm and there is quite a bit of drift um, that has been left by the tide from last night so we'll see what we can find but I'm hopeful that there's gonna be some stuff here so it literally three days after a storm uh, 
can see productive drift. Let's check it out. Ironically, it is raining again, which is making the sea angry. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can find a couple more things from the high tide that just came in, and then uh, we will uh, close it out, and I'll show you everything that I found over the past few days after the nor'easter. All right, this is cool. Ugh. I just found a piece of what I believe is a ladder well. I don't think I want to get hit by a wave. I will keep that because this is a, a, a shell that you don't normally find on the beach. We saw that in the storm video, the hurricane video, when we found ladder whelks. That's cool. Nice find. Okay, there is yet another. Uh, no, I think that's a. I'm not sure. That's a. 
northern whelk or a ladder whelk. I'll leave that be though. You can see the color though. It's that deep dark blue gray. That means this has been sitting in sediment and was stirred up. Probably in the storm and washed up. That's why it's here. So I think I see, or did I lose it? Uh, I think I lost it. Yeah, it's gone. All right. Oh no, that's right here. And it's whole too, that's why I wanted to grab it. This, I believe is a Greenland cockle. Ah, oh, wave's coming, gotta go. <laughs> so it's cool, I was here just earlier this morning uh, and it was low tide, that was about seven hours ago. And already there's tons of new stuff that's washed up. So that high tide brought in a lot of new stuff and we're starting to see uh, some of the things that I think the nor'easter term uh, is turning up from like three or four days ago, which is really really cool. Let's keep going. All right, just found another beautiful Iceland scallop. Look at that guy! Oh my gosh, tons of these today. Must be from that storm. It has to be. These are deep water shells. They're Arctic shells. Um, so. That's uh, that's nice. Right, I do want to do a quick comparison here. So this right here is, I believe, a uh, northern quahog, I think. Now the other one I found here. Hold on one second. Okay. So I think this is a Greenland cockle on the right, and the northern quahog on the left. I, you could see how they could get. Uh, like mixed up or someone could mix them up but if you look underneath you can see that the uh, the uh, northern quahog is much more robust uh, than the uh, Greenland cockle on the right there and uh, the beak there is off to the right and the beak here is off to the left which on the other side would off be off to the right as well too but uh, there is a difference in these shells um, so just if you ever encountered them. Also, the northern quahog is a little bit more rounded on the bottom. The Greenland cockle is it's not quite as round. All right, another cool find here. Ugh. This is a beautiful little false angel wing that just washed in. Nice little bivalve. Gorgeous. Okay, so there's a couple things here. Fun if you get close. These are Arctic hiatellas. They are an Arctic shell. Alright, another really cool find. A, uh, a great pittock shell. It's not whole, but these often are not whole when they wash up. This just washed up here. Oh my god, a lot of, a lot of waves. Oh, gotta move back. Really cool shell. Thank you. 
You think it's gonna be whole? It's whole. Oh my freaking god, man. That's huge. That's a huge Iceland scallop. Oh, I gotta take care of this guy. <laughs> that is massive. Wow. <laughs> couple days here. Let me see if I can get it into focus a little bit more for you. All right, so here is a look at some of our finds of the, of the past four days uh, from the nor'easter. We will uh, we'll dive in here and see what we got. These are uh, called Arctic Hiatellas, little bivalves there, really awesome. Uh, next door we got some uh, Arctic wedge clams. I believe these are Arctic wedge clams. Uh, really beautiful clams. You can see also that they're like kind of darker in color, bluish gray, probably been sitting in some sediment offshore. We have a uh, giant Atlantic Piddock. We have a uh, false angel wing. And we have a piece of a, I believe that is a ladder whelk. So again, we've seen a video here where we have a few species of whelk in Maine that can wash up. This is an Arctic shell similar to the common northern whelk, uh, but a different species. We have some Arctic rough mayas. I believe that those, what those are, those are bivalves as well. These here, I believe are Greenland uh, cockles. You can see the little guy there on the top, and then this big one here. I know uh, they do look somewhat similar and can be confused with the uh, northern quahog, but you can see there are different striations on that uh, than there are here on the um, on the Atlantic, on the northern Quahog. And also, if you look inside uh, here, there's quite a few differences. The Greenland cockles, much more of a lighter shell, thus why uh, a few of them broke in my bag. You can see that the Quahog is much more robust there. Um, and then, then there's that purple feature with different striations that is absent on the Greenland cockle. We got some periwinkles here. These are very commonly found in Maine. Um, and this guy's encrusted in quite a bit of barnacles, or not, sorry, not barnacles, some, something, I don't know what it's encrusted in, but that is a periwinkle as well too. So those are all uh, commonly found in Maine. Uh, we've got an Atlantic plate limpet, which is really beautiful. You can see the blue there, that is a gastropod. Uh, we've got these oysters, which are readily common in Maine, and a, quite a delicacy actually. People, A lot of people eat these oysters. We've got beautiful northern moon snails. These are very commonly found in Maine as well too, and are a favorite with everybody who collects shells in Maine. And then we got the stars of the show, in my opinion, which are these beautiful Iceland scallops. Got quite a few pieces, but also quite a few whole ones as well too. You'll notice most of them are uh, black or dark blue. Uh, that's because these have come a long way. Uh, these are Arctic shells, uh, Iceland scallop, so they come down a long way from the Arctic. Uh, and wash up here. And so they've been sitting in sediment for most of them for, for probably quite a long time. The storm churned them up and uh, washed them onto shore. And I'm very thankful because these are gorgeous shells and I love to find them uh, 
for example, today, um, I didn't find any of these. Yesterday, I found all of these yesterday. So that's why I said collecting was really the best yesterday because I found most of this stuff. Thank you as always for coming along and I will see you on that next adventure.